Hey, what's poppin' everybody? Welcome back to Football Therapy with me, your host, Yeah, and I hope you lot are doing well, and welcome to today's video, which is an interesting video. It's on Chelsea's number nine, Tammy Abraham, and the potential signing of Edison Cavani this January transfer window. What would this acquisition mean to both strikers if it indeed did go ahead? There's actually a lot to talk about regarding this potential transfer, all theoretical, of course, at the moment, but it's interesting, and I want to get into it. But before we do get into the content, today I want to remind you guys to sub to Football Therapy if you've not yet done so please do subscribe hit the bell notifications icon why not like this video to help me out all right let's get into it so what do we know so far Edison Cavani wants out of PSG he has six months left on his contract but he's put in a transfer request and wants to play some games for the remainder of the season. He's 32 years old now, and basically you can understand why the bench isn't really appealing to him. PSG would understandably, well, well they want to keep him to the end of the season because he's an elite striker and he's useful, even though understandably he probably won't extend his contract or maybe they won't offer him a longer contract purely because they've got the likes of Mbappe and Icardi that can play the center forward spot now. But I think out of a sort of compassion for the player, they'll let him go this January. So it does look like he's got a few potential suitors or he's got a few potential clubs he can transfer to. I think his preferred destination and the one that probably would make the most sense on paper for many reasons is Atletico Madrid to join up with Diego Simeone and of course he'll be able to speak Spanish to him and his teammates etc. And actually the uh, Spanish club are the only club so far to make an official approach to PSG to sign the big Uruguayan. They've offered about 10 million pounds considering he's only got six months left on his contract that's a lot of money but apparently they're holding out for nearly double of that which obviously is a lot of money for a 32 year old with six months left on his uh, contract. The other clubs that are currently in for him or certainly interested are Chelsea. You know, Frank Lampard's commented on how much he liked Cavani and what he would bring to his Chelsea side. And the other two clubs that are being linked in the Premier League at the moment are Manchester United and Tottenham Hotspur. Now, Man United have obviously got injury problem with Marcus Rashford and they never really did replace the goals of Romelu Lukaku. And obviously with Tottenham Hotspur, Harry Kane's injured. Well, for the rest of the season it looks like so they need to replace those goals now if Cavani didn't get his move to Atletico Madrid he'd probably be happy to come to the Premier League provided he got a few assurances and a lot of money Manchester United would give him the money they've got a lot of money they'd give him a big contract probably the biggest out of all the Premier League clubs certainly more than Chelsea probably more than Tottenham Hotspur to be honest I think Tottenham Hotspur's biggest problem is they wouldn't pay him his required wages due to their wage structure that Daniel Levy's put together out of the three clubs in the Premier League, Tottenham need him the most. They need to replace Harry Kane's goals and they just don't have a centre forward in the mould of Jose Mourinho. He can play Son down the middle, he can play Lucas Moura down the middle, it's not going to do the business and it's certainly not in the mould of a Jose Mourinho centre forward, which obviously Edison Cavani absolutely is. So for Edison Cavani in the Premier League, Manchester United might make the most sense financially in terms of paying his wages and giving him a longer contract, but he might want to play in the Champions League, so he'll look to a London club potentially. Tottenham Hotspur, who probably, well, he'd be able to talk to Jose Mourinho in either Italian or uh, Spanish, but would he want that? Does he see that as the best option at the moment? He'd know he'd definitely start there. I think it's really just if the two clubs could make an agreement. He'd look at someone like Chelsea and think, wow, you know, Southwest London, superb. Chelsea are a prestigious club. They've won the Champions League. They're in the top four in the Premier League. But they do have Tammy Abraham, Chelsea's number nine, who is scoring goals. So this is interesting. This is what I want to talk about in this video. Tammy Abraham, born and bred Chelsea, hails from the academy, put in the hard graft, did two championship loans where he broke records in both respective clubs as a teenager at Bristol City and at Aston Villa being the first player in 30 years to score over 25 goals. Superb! He came into the Chelsea team as a young man, took the number nine shirt and to be honest I was saying look if he scores 10 goals, 15 goals, amazing. What a, what a season he would have in the Chelsea first team. Although it looks like he's on to maybe score something like 20 plus Premier League goals, which is an absolute one of the biggest successes of this Premier League season. He's also scored in the Champions League and he's getting better. Abraham has scored a whole host of goals as well. He scored at headers, he scored with both feet, he can 
Croy turn on the spot and put it in the corner. He's also scored from outside the box. He's also assisted the likes of Mason Mount with, you know, when he chests down the ball into the path of the midfielder. So he showed he can do all this kind of play. And obviously his hold up play has got much, much better. The ball can come up to him way up the pitch, say from even 40 yards, and he can play in his teammates. He's done that well, often with Willian this season as well. So he's shown he's not perfect. He's still developing, but he's got a lot to his game, Tammy Abraham. He's getting better and better and better, and he certainly scored quite a few goals. That being said, Chelsea do need help up front, and they need a sort of senior figure up there and a calm head to see them through certain games, like this loss against Newcastle United away from home. That's the kind of game when they need a senior centre forward to just take control, often like Drogba and Diego Costa would do at many times, and Edison Cavani would do that. So where does this leave Tammy Abraham and Edison Cavani? Have all the youngsters Mason Mount, Ruben Loftus-Cheek, Reese James, um, Fikayo Tomori, Callum Hudson-Odoi. These lads have all signed new contract extensions. The one Chelsea Youth Academy product that is yet to extend this contract is indeed Tammy Abraham. Who knows, maybe he feels his position's under threat if Chelsea do go and sign someone like Edison Cavani. So what would it have, let's just say theoretically Chelsea do land this signing in January. I don't have any in the no knowledge more than you guys do, certainly at the moment. Matt Law was obviously confirmed, essentially Chelsea have joined the race to sign him, but that's all we know at the moment. So let's say theoretically Chelsea do sign him, they give him an 18 month contract and that is okay for Cavani, let's just say theoretically. What does that mean for Tammy Abraham? Because Tammy, like I said, a few last few minutes, he's been generally a very positive success story in the Premier League this season, but Cavani, even though he's 32 years old, he is an elite centre forward. His record for clubs and country would dictate that. Personally, I'm a massive Cavani fan and have been for a long time. I feel like his movement is unparalleled, the way he gets away from his markers. Amazing elite finisher, super, super strong, and I think he'd have no problem whatsoever dealing with the physicality of the Premier League. People might be like, oh, he's old, he's, it's a bad purchase. Think about Slatan Ibrahimovic when he went into Manchester United and before he got injured scored loads of goals and looked really good. How old was Slatan? Like 35? 36? Cavani is 32 and he's inherently, well, he's always been more mobile than Slatan Ibrahimovic. I think Cavani could actually be good in the Premier League for like up to three years just because of his elite level of footballing power. Yeah. You get what I'm saying. So you'd imagine if he's coming from PSG to get off the bench, he'd want to get off the bench. And then you think, all right, well, he benches Tammy. Tammy's still young, he's learning, he'll learn loads from Cavani. Will he be happy with that? Maybe. Could they even be on the pitch together at the same time in certain instances? Maybe. It's a weird question to pose, because I think, like I said previously, Tammy's been a huge success this season. He wants to play for the badge and he's scoring goals. But you put Cavani in a Chelsea shirt and you feed him some chances. I just think he'd still be elite for at least an 18 month contract that Chelsea would potentially give to him if he's happy to sign it. Plus he can score against any opposition. You could, he's just so canny. You can imagine him, you know, getting one up on Virgil van Dijk even. Do you know what I mean? Just really like escaping the market, doing something a little bit different and scoring the goals. Just an elite finisher and his heading is just superb. I just feel like he offers so much to Chelsea, but it just does pose the interesting question of what it would mean for Tammy Abraham. Does he put Tammy Abraham on the bench? Do they literally just split games? Do you play Tammy Abraham against the lower league opposition and then Cavani against the upper league opposition? Do you say to Tammy, look man, he's really old, <laughs> he's not gonna be here forever, but he's really good and he can help us get to where we wanna be, learn under him. Can Tammy Abraham go, wow, that's Edison Cavani. He's amazing, you know, I can definitely learn under this guy for the time he's here and then emerge through a better striker. Can he look at that in terms of self-development and take it as an awesome responsibility? Hopefully, and maybe. And like I said before, this is all theoretical while we don't know what's happening. I just want to pose the question because it is interesting. Chelsea have made a lot of January striker signings. Like you think of Pato, Falcao and Higuain. You know, Higuain's an elite a renowned elite marksman in European football and sure he scored I think five, his five goals for Chelsea were very very good but he didn't look like really he could cut it at Chelsea 
So what does that mean for Edson Cavani? It does look like history repeating itself in that sense, but I've did, maybe it's like my own like romantic view of it because I've just always thought he was so, so good. And years ago, I would have loved for Chelsea to sign him. And that's even when Chelsea had primed Diego Costa, you know, the Chelsea kept coming up against PSG. I still thought, damn, Cavani would look good in a Chelsea shirt. He's a superb centre forward. I still think that. Sure, he's 32 going on 33. But I think he can play at the top level till his mid-30s comfortably. And then, you know, look at, like I said, look at Ibrahimovic. And he's always been more mobile than Ibra. So... At the risk of repeating myself, I just wanted to hammer that in. But I want to get your thoughts and opinions on this situation. Would you take Edison Cavani? Would you take him for 18 months and see if there's a new young striker to come and purchase to go alongside Tammy Abraham? Or who knows? Purchase as Edison Cavani plays for Chelsea for 18 months and by then Tammy's developed so so much he is the elite number nine at Chelsea and scores loads of goals and has just developed his game which could really be possible and by then who knows Chelsea might have a new second striker instead of Batshuayi or whatever but the point is they'll have an elite centre forward in either Cavani or Tammy Abraham. Get down in the comment section below, express your thoughts on this topic. If you've enjoyed the content today guys, please do like this video and remember to subscribe to Football Therapy if you're new to the channel. Follow me on social media at Football Yannick on both Instagram and Twitter. That's it from me guys, you lot enjoy the football and I will see you later. You ain't so tough with that bad boy tuck I'ma get it how I'm living, I'ma walk the walk Outline my lines, I rap through thought Body bag the verse, outline the chalk In my life seen trouble, hustle on the double Silence on the trigger like my pick got a muzzle Yo chick like to guzzle, bad boy stay in trouble I only love this paper, sorry I don't I love me, baby